Hi everybody, with my friend Mafe, we are visiting the famous Nagoya Castle in Japan. The Spring Festival is almost here, so that is why there are plenty of things happening around the castle grounds. Such as vendors selling a variety of street foods. There are also tourists and locals visiting the castle, some in their traditional colorful kimonos. Others are unusual, such as this kumosu or monk of emptiness, who plays a flute with a bassinet in its head, which symbolize an absence of a specific ego. There are also a variety of performances such as this one. We were so amazed that we decided to have some pictures with them. Also, the entrance fee is 500 yen per adult. 100 yen for senior citizen and children in junior high school or younger are free. Now let's talk about the history. The Nagoya area was home to several fortifications that predated the current version of Nagoya Castle. The castle was rebuilt several times since the late 14th century. The current version of Nagoya Castle was built by Tokugawa Ieyasu between 1610 and 1612. As with many other castle restoration projects, one of the main goals was to drain the coffers of the Tosama Damyo, using bamboo screening to hide his techniques from prying eyes, the architect Kato directed the efforts of 200,000 laborers and constructed the massive stone walls of Nagoya in about six months. Building materials were used both from the much smaller existing structure. The Tenshu was completed in 1612 with the Honmaru Palace and other buildings added over the next few years. The town of Nagoya became one of the two great castle towns of Japan during the Edo period and Nagoya Castle was the third largest after Edo and Osaka. Its position on the Tokaido made it an important commercial center and also a strategic bulwark against any invasion from the west. It remained in the hands of the Tokugawa until the Meiji government took control in 1868. It was used by the Imperial Army from then until 1895, during which time many of the castle's treasures were defaced and damaged by Imperial soldiers. The Imperial family took direct control of the castle in 1895 and was handed over to the city of Nagoya in 1930. While the castle was spared the fate of many other castles at the hands of the Meiji government, it was not so lucky on May 14, 1945. On that day, American firebombing raid obliterated much of the castle. The Tenshu, the Second Tenshu, Four Corner Towers, the Honmaru Palace, and dozens of other buildings were destroyed. Today, only three corner towers, including the most famous original structure of the castle and gateway survive. A ferro-concrete reproduction of the original castle was built from 1957 to 1959 and was an excellent replica of the exterior. It cost about $1.67 million with an additional $120,000 to replace the two gold shachigawara on the roof. Shachigawara are the most famous ones in Japan. Two golden silver-eyed mythical dolphin tiger hybrids. The Shachi were spared during the early Meiji period and were shown at the 1873 Vienna World's Fair as a prime example of Japanese craftsmanship and design. The castle 
serves as a museum today and had a replica of the Shechigawara on display. Also, the first four floors of the castle exhibits the daily lives in Nagoya during the Tokugawa era, while the fifth floor served as an observation deck. Building of the Honmaru Palace is also underway and partly open to visitors. So this sums up our tour of the Nagoya Castle. Until next time guys, bye bye!